Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm in my Airstream sewing room, a very simple mobile area where I can create while I'm out in nature. I don't need much when I'm traveling. I have a little sewing machine. I have a cutting mat, a small iron, and a little ironing mat. And today I'm working on this block that I shared a long time ago and rather than put it on point like I did originally, I put my little red squares in the center and I worked around all of the red squares with some strips. So for these quilt blocks, I've been using an eight inch foundation that I cut ahead of time out of an old cotton sheet. This just helps me gauge how big to, um, to make it as I'm putting all of my strips together. After getting my strips on, I walked over to my little pressing area and I pressed. I wrapped an ironing board um, mat that I made for my old trailer around a cutting board so it doesn't quite fit, but it worked. And then my strip that I had added was just a little bit shy of that eight inches, so I added another strip and tried to move it away from the edge a little bit so I won't have a seam right next to another seam and I pressed before trimming to eight inches. And here's the cute little spool mat that I made in my last video. I think all of my sewing machines need one of these cute little additions. So I did trim this block using my cutting mat and my ruler. I got myself a straight edge and I set it up against the edge there on the left and then I measured eight inches. And in the next block, I'm gonna show you how I used the foundation to measure my cutting. So I think you could do it either way, that I used the lines on my mat since I don't have a square ruler along with me. On this camping trip, I just used the mat. Here's another block where I turned it over and I used that foundation as my guide because these foundation squares are eight inches so I can use that as my guide to trim this. I packed very little for my sewing trip, but I was able to get quite a few blocks completed with those red centers and all those scraps. This is gonna be a really fun quilt.
I sewed my blocks together in rows of six across and when I was done putting it all together my little quilt top here measures 45 by 52. It's very fun to sew when you're camping to have some little projects to do and I'm really happy with how this turned out. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.